Hi guys, I don't know why I started off the vlog with saying um, it's the next morning because I didn't actually film anything the night before. But hi, welcome to my Zanty vlog. Have a great time watching. Okay, so it is the next morning now. Um, it's like, what time is it? Quarter past seven, bang on time. And I'm about to leave to go to Bristol Airport because silly old me thought that it would be a good idea to fly from there. It is not. Um, my poor mum is taking me down there, bless her. Um, but yeah, so outfit, I'll show you. It's not really anything too special. It's this bow and tee set and I've got like a named collective jumper that matches if I get cold and then my matching Jordans. So that's the fit. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you updated. We're gonna leave now. Um, I'm taking two cases because that's just how I roll. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Another holiday. Literally just got back, but. Hey, so we're in Zanti now. Um, it's like 10 p.m. No, it's not even that. It's like half nine. Um, wait a sec. Um, where to start? So we got to our hotel. Wait, Erin, what are you doing? I'll sort it in a minute. One sec. Um, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so we booked this place in March and it costs like £600. Um, we got here. The owner of the place was like... Um, he just took Erin's first name, didn't check our passports um and then tried to charge us 80 euros for a safe and air conditioning that was only included um and then i'll show you the room in a sec but then he said that he'd give us discount because we're pretty which is not good and then the room key normally you have like cards we just have a literal key and to like lock the door you have to take the key out so the lights will go off. Yeah. So basically what the plan is, we're just gonna get ready as soon as possible and get out because I literally just wanna use this place to sleep. That is all. Um, but I think we've been on the phone to Jet 2 and I think we're gonna be moving. So I'll keep you updated, but I'll do like a room thing. But I, I'm gonna try and keep it on a positive note because we're going out, there's no way I'm staying in here all night. No matter how knackered I was, I am going somewhere. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I'll give you a brief. It's not bad, but it's it's not bad at all. But it's but it's not what we paid for. On the website, mm. their first, every single room that they, 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 that they had to offer, and this was not fucking on it. So, like, no. Yeah. And, like... This should have just been so much cheaper than it is. I feel like there's no security at all. Um, so, yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 12 o'clock Zanty time. 10 o'clock English time. We uh, woke up to a bang on the door because obviously I didn't film a lot last night because we had a right mare. I got some clips which I could probably show you, but... Um, we needed to change rooms because the ceiling kept falling on Erin's head. Um, we kept getting bitten. Like our room. I like left. <laughs> um, yeah, it was just not good. So today they've moved us to a new room. Oh my, can we talk about the space, please? The ceiling. The I, balcony is like a fucking runway. The balcony is like a runway. The TikToks are gonna be unbelievable. <laughs> Everything is sorted. We've got free air con, free safe. We can actually sit back and enjoy our holiday. So today we're very busy. Oh, we've got full moon party with Xanity Bible, thanks to Charlie, if you're watching. We've got that with Charlie Sloth and Jordan. Exciting. And then we've got a table and cherry belly later. We're just going to have to sleep in the sun because me and Erin look like vampires right now. <laughs> so... I mean, I hope our holiday gets better here. We'll catch you later. My rack. What? Look at my rack. What's your rack? <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh! <laughs>
<laughs> um, basically, we're on the way back from our event and we thought, we saw this carriage outside and we were thinking, why not? It was only 15 euros to get, it's like 1.5 miles away, so we've got 1.5 miles in a horse carriage. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> Wedding grease. <laughs> Wedding fucking grease. Hey guys, um, it's the next day. Shall I, I hold my bait? That's cool. <laughs> We are going to the beach today because we have to go and collect some tickets. Why does I look bold? Because I've just had my hair done, so that bit's dead blonde. Um, yeah, we're going to the beach because um, we need to collect. Oh my god, this angle! We need to collect some tickets from um, this club. So we're going to take a leisurely walk down to the strip, and then fuck knows where the beach is from there. Might have to get a taxi. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we had a great night last night. It was so fun. We had a table in Cherry Bay and tonight we're going to see Nathan Daw. So I will, uh, what the hell? I will vlog again later. Hey guys, um, I thought I'd check it. Oh, you can't even see properly, but we went to the beach today got a crack in tan. Um, going to Nathan Door. Um, I've got cowboy boots on, but let's see. I'm really liking the fit. I'm thinking I'm looking really cool. I'm not looking like your basic bitch, you know? I'm looking quite cool, but I just know that my hair is gonna drop, so I'm gonna literally leather it in hairspray. <laughs> I'll get some cute clips. Um, thanks to Theo Summer, VVIP, for sawing this. I'm gonna hairspray my hair. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't actually film anything of this day. Uh, I got a few clips, but that this day that I'm about to show you now is when we did Tidal Boat Party with Zanty Bible. Uh, actually, I did film something. Um, it's like a whole story time, which you'll see. But Tidal Boat, Tidal Boat Party was honestly one of the best days of my life. Um, me and Lexi jumped in the sea. It was it was so fun. So you're going to see some clips and then you're going to see what happened. <laughs> Don't know his name. He went up, oh, up, oh. and I was like, "What? Like why?" And then everything that happened after that was a blur. This other guy came, told us to stand up, moved like we've got these like 
think coming yeah. down with basically they moved it so we were on the wood so we wouldn't be comfortable. But anyway, listen, they've actually we've skipped that part. So we told the man that hit us, we just said to him, that you don't hit, like just ask me, excuse me. And obviously we said to him, we thought he'd see sick. He's like, oh, okay, I misunderstood, don't worry. I was like, okay, cool. He walked away, then his fucking friend came over and was like, oh, we got up and took that away from us. And then uh, and then he just started cussing us, talking, effing and blinding, like just being really aggressive. But it was in Greece, so I don't know what he was saying, but it was, it was really aggressive. Um, and then he got off fucking Scarlet's face. So I squared up to him. As the fuck I should. He was like this close away from my face because I said to him, "What's your name?" Because I was gonna be like, "Oh, like I said, what's your name?" Like I'm gonna I'm gonna complain. And he got my face. He was like, "What? Like what are you gonna do?" So Erin was literally this close away from his face. I think she got a video. She was like, "Yeah, you what?" Like she's got a video. Honestly, if my phone was not dead, I would have recorded the whole thing. So we just have it as evidence should we need. Um, but anyway, there's there's these two other staff that are in different uniforms that work on here that were lovely that are back and sort of helping us out. Anyway, he was like, "Yeah, bitch, yeah, bitch," on my face and that. I honestly, he's gonna spring up on me. No, I uh, the yeah. Words. I, I literally said to Erin, I was like, "Sit down, like sit down." And then this other man came over and like pulled this other man away because otherwise he would have hit Erin and then Erin would have killed the guy. <laughs> um, and then the other two men were arguing with the men that like hit us and were being rude, and it was like getting like quite aggressive. And then everything's calmed down now, and these other two men keep coming over, like checking if we're okay he and everything. The police on them as well. Yeah. He was on the phone with the police outside, so. <laughs> but honestly, like, I just don't remember it. Like, I don't, I can't. That's what I get, like, when I get mad, I don't remember what I've done. I think I'm just confused and a little bit like, what? Like, we had, like, what? It was actually hard as well. Like, he hit us hard. Like, he could have literally just, like, tapped us or said, like, excuse me. Like, I get if that's not, like, Greek culture, but that's not the point. So I thought we'd update you. Um, but I think we're on the way back from, like, this boat party now, and then gonna go back and get some food because we haven't ate today we haven't ate we literally haven't ate i can sort you two it's from the microwave that's about it i literally haven't ate so we'll speak to you later we'll give you an update hey. oh camera quality what the fuck <laughs> um what day is it friday. friday i don't think i filmed any of today but purely because we just sat on the beach in the We're sun bloggers, we actually are yeah but like we have, it's not that we haven't, we have tried. I think the last thing that you probably heard of us was when we were on the boat party. And that man. That man. Anyway, we've had a nice day today. Um, we chilled on the beach. It's actually making me feel sick thinking about it. Um, we went what? to this restaurant oh. and we ordered like, no, my stomach's turning. We ordered jacket potatoes, but I've gone like so thirsty thinking about it. He, we asked, Erin asked for a jacket potato with cheese and meat and I asked for it with just cheese. It looked delicious, like it looked hang, like one of the nicest things I've ever looked at. And we ate it, and oh my god, I literally felt like I'd been in the Sahara Desert for no, a you month. You need to edit into this, you know, when um, Sid the Sloppers salty, yeah, it was literally like that. It was <laughs> horrific. It. I'm gonna put the picture in of that I took of Erin literally as soon as she took a bite. It's so joke, but in the end, we had to swap it. Um, and they brought out wedges, but I was too scared that they didn't understand what I meant by gluten-free. So I had one bite, shat myself, and then Erin ate the rest. But anyway, so I had wedges with bacon and cheese. But it was it wasn't like cheese sprinkled on it. It was like do you know like nacho cheese? Yeah, like orange cheese. cheese. And it was ham. It was not bacon. It was ham. Oh, so, was it? So about three tiny fucking little squares of ham. Ate that, and then what I tell you, what, what in the way is drenched. Like drenched in cheese. Yeah. I keep eating a plain one because obviously I was like, fuck that, it's too fucking cheesy. Yeah, it was, it's made me need a drink of water, like even just talking about that potato. I've never tasted anything like it. I feel like I might as well have just literally drank the seawater. So, yeah, in it, I literally said I could, I could have drank two cups of seawater and be fine. So now we're on the way to the phone party, thanks to Feel Summer. I, I spoke about that earlier. Um, before I came so we're going there gonna get some content see how it goes really and then I'll try and update you but obviously I'm just gonna do like little montages of what's been happening at the night with like funny clips that we've been getting because on the strip like you don't really think to whip out a vlog camera well my phone um but yeah this is Sheen PLT Sheen this is Femi Lux oh is it yeah new shoes no ideas. We've got some good pictures tonight, so I'm in a great mood. And we've had a nap. We've had a great nap. Yeah, and we didn't go out last night, so we're feeling very good. So I'll update you. There's no stopping us right now. I feel so close to 
Okay, I'm back from Zanti now. And I just thought I'd come on here and give a little bit of a talk about how it went. You know, obviously I've vlogged quite a bit, so you would have seen. I hope you enjoyed what you did see. Um, it was a lot more put together than the Ibiza vlog. Um, so we stayed at a place called Hera Studios. It was in Laganas, but it wasn't on the strip. It took you about 30 minutes to walk to the strip, I'd say, which wasn't that bad. So what we'd do is we'd walk to the beach in the day and then get a taxi back. And then we'd walk to the strip at night and get a taxi back. Um, and it was 10 euros for a taxi. So we were spending 20 euros each day on a taxi. That was fine by me. Um, so obviously you've seen at the start of the vlog, when we got to the hotel, the owner didn't ask for our passports, literally just took Erin's first name. That was that. He didn't check anything. Um, he tried to char charge us 80 euros for the air con. Um, but we got a discount because we were pretty girls. But then we later found out that we met some boys that were staying there and they only got charged 60 euros. And they it was it was the same thing. They were staying a week. Um, so I don't know how 80 euros was a pretty discount. But anyway, we move. Um, so... It was like four in the morning and we were getting bit by like bed bugs. Obviously, you can't prove that there's bed bugs there because you can't see them. Um, and the ceiling had fell on Erin's face. Like that sounds dramatic, but like a little bit had crumbled on Erin's face. Um, so we got up at like four in the morning and we asked to change rooms. We walked into reception to the owner fast asleep like in the middle of the sofa with a blanket, like fag ash everywhere, crisps. There was mosquitoes everywhere. Um, and he seen us looked at us and went back to sleep anyway um he said if you're not satisfied with your room you can sleep here with me on the sofa and i was like right that's not happening so we got up the next morning and then we changed rooms to a much better room and then obviously a holiday started from there and we did have a good time um they had no gluten-free food no nothing to cater for allergies at all i got asked i asked if the fries were gluten-free and she said google it yourself like go look look yourself i'm not looking i said can you not go and check with the chef she said no google it you have a phone um so probably going to go on TripAdvisor and do a little review because we did pay like 1200 pounds which is silly for to stay somewhere like that and like we had friends out there that stayed in a lot nicer accommodation for so much cheaper um anyway apart from that we had honestly the most unreal holiday it was absolutely unbelievable i had the week of my life um just want to say a massive shout out to feel summer who we actually booked our events from so with that you get the vvip boat party um you get tom zanetti nathan door or joel curry doesn't i'm not sure he's one and a phone party um, we did some of those events obviously you would have seen clips from that but i also want to give a massive shout out to um charles charlie not charles why am i calling him charles charlie who owns the zanti bible he sorted everything for us we had booths in cherry bay all our drinks were sorted we went to the full moon party we went to tidal boat party we honestly just had the best time and if it wasn't for him like I wouldn't have made the memories that I've made because some of the best memories were made at those times. So I just want to say a massive thank you to Charlie. I know you probably won't be watching this, but and I'm going to be doing a season in Zanti next year for 10 weeks, which I'm so... honestly, I fell in love with that place. I felt the same way about Tenerife last year, but Tenerife is still my favourite place in the world, but probably for more like a family like chilled vibe holiday. 
but yeah i do hope that you all enjoyed the vlog um if you did please make sure to like comment subscribe if you haven't already um and i'll see you all very soon